Hey yo everybody, welcome back to She the Dark Healer. We are back here and you may see that the resolution is a little bit different. I'm playing with a very big widescreen monitor. You know, I finally fixed my monitor. Because if many of you don't know, I broke my monitor somehow. Honestly, it just, just started malfunctioning. I've had it for a little bit and it just stopped working. And here we are. We got a new monitor chilling. Wait, do I not? Okay, I do. He's over here. But yeah, we got a new monitor. And, you know, I, I wanted to use this monitor instead of my other monitor. So we'll, we'll see how it is. All right, we'll, we'll start with that. We'll see how it is. See how it feels. Every time you watch my videos, though, it, it might look like a movie. <laughs> so let that be known. But yeah, in this episode, we're specifically gonna just try and take on some bosses, alright? That's it. That's it. Plain and simple. Just a progression episode, alright? And the main reasons for this is because I want to set up a sort of tier list for both the healer and the druid class. So I can figure out, like, what I need to get my hands on. Um... There's a nightshade armor set, Ooh, but you need small lost souls and lost souls. They're not the hardest to get, but they do take a little time. So I don't know if we'll even get to this. The hell? How do you sell that? Say that. Betelguise? Betelguise? Uh, what else is there? That's about it. Okay. Nothing for us. Wait. Giant dandelion. Awesome. Charisma potion is pretty good. But yeah, there's that nightshade set. We might actually craft the... Uh, are we at the jungle? We might actually craft the... What the hell is that called? Cold-blooded druid set? Just to see how it is. Because I have no idea what that cold druid set does. What mod is this? This is mod redemption. Can I mine it? It's just can I. Okay. Well, can I do anything with can I? Probably not when it comes to druid stuff. It does have that really cool pistol. Yeah, I don't see anything that we can really use. It makes a sky set. It makes this. I don't know what's going on. I just hear moaning from my fucking character. Shut up, she. Wait, do we go down here? Yes. So we are going here. We're going to kill the spore boss. What the hell's the thing? Spore mother. Which is low-key one of the tougher mini bosses. But you can say that for all of them, if we're being honest. Uh, depends, really. Situation and what items you have at the time. Now, I don't know if I'm going to spoil this. Should I spoil this? I have I have a very good idea for a future for a set of series. And these series, I don't know how exactly how they work gonna work. I think what I'm gonna do for this series when it comes is just really long episodes instead of stream episodes. Uh but yeah. All I'm gonna say singular mod full cap class playthroughs. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And I'm talking about every class. Oh, I said a little bit too much. I said a little too, a little, a little too much. Where the hell is the spore mother at, man? So, I don't know how strong our character is. I think we can take on bosses fairly easily. But I feel like there's definitely a lot more room for DPS. And, obviously, defense. We're not, we don't have the best post or pre-hard mode gear yet. But, uh, you know, we're pretty good. I think we're, like, in the middle, if we're being honest. What the hell? What was that? What does that? <laughs> That looked like a soul. I burped right there. I keep on doing like hiccup burps. It's just like a silent burp. Do you guys do that too? It feels like a big burp is about to come out and it's just like a hiccup. It's like with sneezes too. When you're about to sneeze and then something goes away. Bro, that's worse than getting like blue bulb. That's terrible. Like a sneeze is building up and you're ready to feel that release. That sweet release of the sneeze. And then it just stops. Terrible. I hate it. You know what I have? I don't have it. Never mind. <laughs> I, I was—I thought I had the Ivy Whip as my grappling hook. When is the last time y'all got the Ivy Whip as a grappling hook? That's the real question. Because I don't remember the last time I actually got it without like from a mod, or, like you know, a mod like give it to me through like a treasure bag or something, or, like a reward. I don't think I've ever made the Ivy Whip since I like stopped playing vanilla, or maybe like early modded. I got an Ivy Whip, but still. That was like one of the OG things you would get your hands on early game in Vanilla Terraria. And I haven't touched it since. Why is it all the way up there? Okay, you know, we're going back up. Alright, so this should not be too bad given that we can pretty much hit things through walls. It's just a matter of how much mana we have. And if we can just keep that mana up. Is there anything in drop mana? Can we kill something that drops mana, please? Yeah, kill that. Oh, there's mana up there. Right, we'll just grab that. We'll keep on summoning these to the best of my ability. Oh, we ran out of mana. Seems good that I went up here to grab it. Oh, kill that enemy. 
And look, another mana. Look, we're just we're just self-sufficient. We're being very self-sufficient right now. Oh my god, look. She's going ape shit. <laughs> She's going crazy. She doing that meme. Oh my god, what was that? Something just hit me again. Oh, was it the spores she shooting out? I thought it was like that white soul thing that like did a drive-by on us. I don't know what hit me actually. Was it my chicken? The chicken looks like that white soul thing earlier, like a couple minutes ago. Like a minute ago. Probably in the video, like a minute ago. Dude, I ran out of mana. Well, I, oh shit. She's going ape shit. This doesn't use use mana now. These stabs or stave. They don't use mana anymore, is what I was told. So I think it would be smart. Oh my god, I can't get in there. Wait, when do we do this? No, that doesn't help. Just just do this. No, this was our best strat. Just do this. Oh, I'm wasting mana right now. Yes, sir. Spore mother be gone. And get a spore core. Great item. Spore core. So there you go. There's that mini boss down. Uh, what other mini bosses do we need to get now? Or not mini bosses. What boss is next? Crabulon. Do I have Decopoditas? Or mushrooms for Decopoditas? I don't know. We're, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I think. I hope we have mushrooms. What we're about to see right now. Come on. Come on. Ooh, look how many potions we have. Five? All right. I have achieved the mushrooms. What is this? Lost soul. The soul of a creature. I killed some weird looking monster down there. Wandering soul. Ooh. Oh, you need pixie dust. All right. Never mind. I take that ooh back. How do you take a ooh back? You go ooh. So you go like ooh. There you go. I took the ooh back. <laughs> can I make this? I can make this. I actually could make this right now. Can I? I don't know actually <laughs> we need boreal wood i don't know if i have boreal wood well, there's a lot of stuff you can make do i have boreal wood wood we don't sadly where's the snow biome sorry to the left whatever i don't give a shit let's make this deco podita though and uh should we make the cold jewet set can we we can't it costs a lot of bars per though you know what all right this is what i'm gonna do I'm gonna fight a couple of I Cthulhu's off camera because look, obviously I have a bunch. So I'll do that, and then I guess I'll get the boreal wood to make that weapon, that stave we can make, and we'll cut to the Deco Pedita fight. All right, we are here. We're gonna fight Young Crabulon, which has a new sprite, and the reason why, well, it's not that new, but new to me because you know I had to play with the older version of Calamity because my Terraria kept crashing for some reason during uh, the last series when I tried to update Calamity. But yeah. Let's do it. We're wearing the uh, cold-blooded set, which its set bonus is seed, seed bags and flick frostburn, which is not bad. But this set was supposed to be before the current set we have. That's not bad. I completely missed it. It's all good. It doesn't matter that much. But yeah. Uh, let's go ahead. Decapedita. Boom. And Krabby long time, baby. We also have the staff right here. This ice staff. So hopefully we're good. You know, it might not be smart to walk right into this fucking boss. Oh my god. Yeah, can we please hit the boss on maybe that? Oh my god. It keeps going for the stuff above him. Yeah, Crapalon isn't too bad of a boss. Like, too hard. So I should say. I, it can't do damage, obviously. We lost like half of our health when we actually ran into him as we did it again right there. But, uh, very easy to dodge this boss. Honestly, if you just if you have decent crowd control, this boss should not be bad at all. But if your crowd control is a little weak, you know, you have like a single target item, it might be a little bit harder. I say as I'm about to die, oh my god, I almost lost that fight because I got pushed into the fucking jungle mid-fight. Yeah, there you go. Boss is dead. Get the hell out of there. <laughs> no, I don't want to die. But yeah, we're not going to wear this set the whole time. Just wanted to make it. Just show you guys it. Because set bonus is pretty cool. That's the reason why I wanted it. It's because Frostburn is a really hard hitting uh, damage type. But boom. Krabby Line has been defeated. Are we going to use any of the stuff that Krabby Line gives us? Probably not. Ooh, the micro root. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, there you go. There's that. Boss has been defeated. Let's put the armor in here. You know, save spots in here. But yeah, like I said, I'm trying to make like a tier list so I can, you know, set up an easier way to get all the items that we're missing, all the items that I want to get my hands on. Because I don't know for sure all the items for the healer and the druid. So I'm going to set up a tier list the best of my ability. Maybe I'll share it. I don't know. It'll be like a halfway, half-ass tier list. Be, for me, visually, honestly. I'm just going to have it on my other monitor. So I can look at it and figure out what I need to get my hands on. But yeah. What is next on the list? The Xenomite Crystal is actually pretty close. Begins the infection. 
that's the only thing I'm worried about is infections what we doing with infections like I don't know if I fuck with that divine light can be used oh geez we're getting some scary bosses um should we even do jellyfish resonator maybe I do just have to get my hands on some weapons I don't know what weapons that's the problem right now fuck it let's fight the xenomite crystal I want to do it Geiger counter where's the Geiger counter we have one right oh it's in here boom no excuse me no stop Geiger counter where is it? There it is. Boom. Should we do it? I hope it's not like an event boss. It's going to make my life harder. Whatever. It's all good. Uh, get the regen. Boom. Get the swiftness. Yes, sir. Uh, what else do we want? Damage increase. I don't even think we really want that. Maybe just endurance. Oof. We don't have this stuff for endurance. Druid essence. Yes. Perfect. That works. <laughs> we'll just do that. And uh, what, what arena? Oh, obviously the closest arena. Let's do it. Do we need to fight it somewhere? Use a Geiger counter dropped by the strange portal. Okay, so it tells you how to get it. Can we just use it? Yes, we can. Let's do it. Let's do it. New boss alert. Xenomite crystal. Uh, is a very... I'm assuming it's a druid-based boss. Yeah, if we right-click with this, it makes us shoot super fast. Oh my god. What was that damage? Y'all seen that damage output? Let's, uh, let's go with this. We're gonna send out the sky flower stuff. Just decorate the area. And they should be doing more damage because of the buff. The druid buff we have. Does this do a debuff? I don't know. I don't know what like our best weapon is. It probably honestly is the staff. But the only problem with this one is it homes in. It's all good. Oh, there's a part two. Phase two. Phase two. Come on, home in on him. Fuck the fuck the enemies. Home in on the main boss. Is there a phase three? No, okay, we chillin'. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Alright, so that boss wasn't too bad. Where did I get this regen potion from? Did I have a regen still on? Probably, I don't know. We got treasure bag. Boom. We got a yo-yo. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't know what it does. It's probably just a yo-yo. Hasty necklace of sight. Increases sight. Oh, it just makes things brighter. And then we get a crit from it. And then Xenomite Shards. So let's see if these actually do anything dru Druid-wise. Oh, Blooming Luck. Gets immunity to knockback. 5% increase Druidic damage. So increase the chance of finding rare and epic drops. I don't know what that means. Like, is rare epic drops from the mod? Rare epic drops from Terraria? I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that it uses two vanilla accessories and puts them in with a uh, you know modded damage type. It's really cool. Uh, empty bot hanger. I don't know what this is. Probably for a boss. I would assume. Assume. Raw Xenium. Oh god, this looks like some post Moon Lord stuff right here. Some post Moon Lord stuff. But this blooming luck. Hopefully, I remember to get our hands on it in the future. I don't know how long this episode has been. It's probably been short, but I have been recording for like an hour off camera. Uh, because I, I went down to the mushroom biome to get mushrooms, and then I got the mushrooms, but it wasn't enough mushrooms. So I had to kind of just sit AFK for like 10, 20 minutes and then go get more mushrooms. But yeah, I'm going to end this episode off here. Tell me how you guys like the widescreen. Um, if you don't like it, I could just, you know, obviously put the game on my other monitor, record on the other monitor. But this is the monitor I'm going to be using for like streams and stuff. I don't know. Well, I'll figure out like the rendering and all that stuff later. But let me know because I used the widescreen. I recorded widescreen in the past, but I was like, eh, maybe people don't like it if it's really wide. But I don't know. It looks like a movie to me. <laughs> it looks really cool. But yeah, I will see y'all next time in the Dark Healer.